Minnesota lawmakers have wrapped up their work for the year, but the outcome of the session is still in limbo. From revamping the state's tax code to enhancing security measures at public schools and clamping down on opioid abuse, much of the session's work was stuffed into just two massive bills. Governor Dayton has threatened to veto those bills, but could take up to 14 days to decide. Republicans be began a lobbying campaign on Monday to try to get Dayton to sign the legislation. That includes a tax bill that would help avert a complicated tax filing season in 2019 and funding for schools and budget crunches that Dayton deemed necessary. House Speaker Kurt Doubt says it's just the beginning of the pressure on Dayton to sign the bills. The governor, though, doesn't sound willing to budge on his position. It's just so vile. You know, it's, I've seen partisan differences before. I've dealt with partisan differences. I've dealt with Republican legislatures. And we've had uh, impasses which were based on primarily very different views of what's best for Minnesota. Even the 2011 impasse was a, were honest differences about what was best for the state. This is different from that. This is different from anything I've experienced before where it's solely focused on what benefits them for their reelection has nothing to do with trying to work cooperatively with me, has nothing to do with the best interests of Minnesota. It's all about themselves, their own re-election, and it is disgusting. The bonding bill that passed does include $12.5 million for the construction of a new veterans home in Bemidji and $22.5 million for a project at Bemidji State University. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.